What happens when you combine the power of rage? Iron. Hope. And thunder. You get Earth's mightiest heroes. But, uh, there's some assembly required. Hello, all you beautiful heroes out there. I am Fossa the Silver Chimera, and in this video, we're talking about Marvel's Avengers. And we got a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. So, after what feels like forever, Square Enix and Crystal Dynamics released their super awesome online four-player cooperative action RPG button masher loot grinding game. I'd like to call it a looter bruiser. As per usual, I'm going to talk about the bad first, because I like to end things on a positive note. The overall consensus of this game is a resounding... Meh? Yeah. Which I get. I think a lot of the issues come from the fact that this game falls under the Games as a Service, which is all the rage nowadays. For those of you who don't know, Games as a Service is when a game has a long stream of content after its release like expansions, new characters, or various other DLCs. And they usually come with some sort of monetization cooked in, like skins or emotes. And there's usually a certain corporate spiel that comes along with these kind of games. It goes a little something like this. <clears throat> you see, this game is trying to be an experience. We want our players to be engaged and experience our game's experience. Because this game is a platform we're using to pave the way for an experience worth experiencing over the next hundred years or something like that. I don't know. Now what all that translates to is... Listen, we want to go home, and the only way this shit is going to work is if we cut some stuff out of the game, give it to you later, and if we don't do that, corporate's going to work us so hard we're going to jump off the roof. So play the 30-minute storyline, buy some shit from the cash shop, we really appreciate your business. Also, fuck you. So the fact that the Avengers has a similar model with new heroes coming soon and stuff like that, it rubs gamers the wrong way. It just came out the gate on the wrong foot, you know? And that's just the beginning. This game is kind of buggy. Now, I haven't experienced anything game-breaking, just kind of funny stuff, but there's still a lot of bugs. Now, all that being said, I still have fun playing the game. And honestly, it's really confusing. It's taking me forever to make this video because I know what's wrong with the game, but I still have fun with it. And that's why we play video games, right? To have fun. So let's talk about the good. The combat is really fun. Each hero is distinctive. Iron Man has gadgets that let him do damage. <laughs> Thor feels very powerful and it's very satisfying to pin someone to the ground or a wall and then have everyone run up and stomp a mud hole in that guy's ass. I think I'll be playing the big three, Iron Man, Thor, and Captain America because I want to show them how we do it in Brooklyn. But there are no bad choices here. Hulk and Black Widow are really fun in their own right, and Miss Marvel is great. And that makes me happy. I was hoping she'd be good ever since they announced she was in the game. Which is good, because she's kind of important to the story. The story of this game is pretty good. I really enjoy when a game based on a comic book tells its own original story. Keep that shit going, developers. The plot of this game centers around a young Kamala Khan, and she won a fan fiction contest, so she gets to go to A-Day, which is some kind of Avengers celebration on a helicarrier. She walks around, meets some of the Avengers in person, and then some shit blows up. Amidst the chaos, Taskmaster and the boys show up and break a bridge, attack the previously mentioned helicarrier. Kamala inhales the dankest Terrigen mist. Some people fight. Then the unthinkable happens. The helicarrier blows up, and Captain America dies. No, seriously. Yeah, they killed the leader of the Avengers in the first level, and there's no way he's coming back. Anyway, after the A-Day catastrophe, somewhere between like 50 and like a million people die, and a crap ton more people start turning into humans. People with special powers who are totally not the X-Men. Yeah! So because New York is wrecked in a quarantine zone, I could make a joke, but I won't. Can you stay categorical? You are fake news. The world blames the Avengers for the Rona, I mean the inhuman problem, and Bruce Banner decides to sell out the homies, and the Avengers disband. So I ask you again, Dr. Banner, do the Avengers pose a danger to society? Uh, yeah. So five years pass and the new super corporation called AIM, Advanced Idea Mechanics, 
is the new robot sensation that's sweeping the nation. Move over, Avengers. We got this. Crime? Get out of here. The inhuman problem? We got that. If you think you see something, say something. We'll take care of them. You'll never have to see them again. What? Aim is the bad guy. Who saw that coming? Is this bit even funny? Fair enough. That's pretty much what you need to know. Kamala goes on a good old hero's journey and some stuff happens. Kamala finds Hulk. Hulk tells Abomination to shut up. Shut! Shut! You shut the fuck but up! Also, you shut the fuck up! You, you shut the fuck up! You shut the fuck up! Violently, Bruce and Kamala find Tony living in a trailer. Then Tony tells Bruce to shut up. Violently. It was. I. <sighs> hey, back off! Hi, I'm sorry. Who are you? Yada, 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 comic book stuff. So, can Kamala bring the Avengers back together and save the world? Duh, this is a service after all, so this plot line is just the beginning. But past me cracking some jokes, I thought the story is good, and I'm interested to see where this goes. I think that's the thing I'm most excited for, is to see who they add. Kate Bishop is the first hero to join us, and that's really cool. And me and some friends were running through all the possible additions. And needless to say, it's a lot. I mean, come on, it's Marvel we're talking about here. I really want to see Moon Knight and Black Panther. I think they would be really fun to play as. Is this game worth getting? I'm not really sure. I have fun playing it, and I love anything comic book related, so maybe give it a bit, but keep it in mind if you think it's interesting. I think it's a good game, or at least it could be. There's just some assembly required. Hit it! <laughs> enough the game doesn't deserve a super cool montage so why don't you all out there tell me what you think of the game i'm really interested to see who are you playing as who do you want in the game in the future as always you can tell me in the comments below do not forget to leave a like only if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see more of me if you feel so inclined i'm Foss the silver chimera this is your second reminder to leave a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace